Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we are going to be talking about my 52 certifications in 52 weeks challenge. So uh, let's go back in the story quite a bit so then we can talk about this. Um, so I work from home and I work from home with my kids. Um, I am living in a neighborhood where this is not uncommon. There are a lot of moms who work from home, who stay at home, who either work full-time or who work part-time while also taking care of their kids. Um, I feel very lucky and privileged that I'm able to do that and that I work for myself and so I can work as much or as little as I would like as long as like my kids are taken care of. I do have some small children. So my second daughter, she is still home 100% of the time. And then uh, my older daughter is five and she goes to preschool three times a week. But I have, again, like I said, I have lots of friends who are in this neighborhood who like also do the same things. They work for part-time from home while watching their kids and it's been really difficult. And a lot of us have been feeling like we are just in this huge funk. We don't know if it's the season change or if it's like we're still tired from summer and having our kids home 100% of the time if they've gone to school. But we just felt like we have been in this huge funk of like, hey, I really want to work more on my career than I have in the past. I really want to like do things to progress, but it is very, very difficult. And we're just, we're just tired guys. We're just tired. Um, yeah. And then I, last weekend, Jeremy and I, we went on an anniversary trip up to Park City uh, for a few nights, which was really fun. And uh, honestly, when we go on trips, we do a lot of just researching on our laptops. It's really nice to get out and get yummy food um, and to go <laughs> sit in a hot tub, but we also just like really like to research and learn new things. And don't feel bad about that for either of us. I remember one of the first Valentine's Days that we were married, I made Jeremy his Trailhead account. So that's a little uh, Emily and Jeremy lore for you right there, but um, it is a common occurrence. And uh, while I was on this trip, I was doing research into certifications that I could get to just kind of like hype me up a little bit, you know? of like, hey, I would really love to learn more about this subject or about this subject. And so I got a HubSpot certification, even though, yes, I know I'm Salesforce Emily, and that's a whole nother discussion on if I become CR Emily or CRM or whatnot down the road, but that's way down the road. Um, but I was just like, this is so nice, like getting a certification. Um, and that's where the idea of 52 certifications in 52 weeks was born. So I, again, just like feeling in this rut, I'm wanting to get out of this rut and feeling like, oh, like I could only get like these five certifications that I feel like, oh, they're really going to help me on YouTube or they're gonna help me on LinkedIn or I can make courses off of them. And I don't, like it's given me a lot of anxiety to study for those certifications and get those certifications because like I feel so pigeonholed, I guess is how I would put that. So I've already, posted about this on LinkedIn and I've gotten a lot of like really positive things. And like I said, I, I don't want to pigeonhole myself into like only studying for these one things and feeling so much anxiety about getting certifications. So here's the guidelines that I'm going to set out for myself in getting these certifications. The first one, any certification counts. Ideally, I would really love to stick to CRM and IT certifications. However, there have been some comments on my LinkedIn post about the 52 and 52, and honestly, I, I've been living for these certifications. Some of these are really fun, like identifying bears or becoming a notary, which actually, like in my neighborhood Facebook group all the time, people are like, hey, does anyone a notary here? So I feel like that could be very helpful as well. But again, any certification counts. Yes, I know that some certifications are going to weigh more than far, like far more than others. Um, again, this is just to hype me up to get those bigger certifications. So really any certification counts. I know it's going to spike my certification count. I know there's a huge controversy about it. I don't care. Honestly, I'm just, I'm looking to get back on the bandwagon of certifications. So another guideline I'm going to have is that some weeks I will double, triple, quadruple up, and other weeks I may not get a certification. Honestly, I just 
want to get a certification every week, but it doesn't have to be like every single week. Hopefully that makes sense. I feel like when I have set goals in the past of like, I'm going to do this every week or I'm gonna do this every week, it hasn't really worked out. I feel like I am really good for a few weeks and then I miss a week and then I'm like, well, sucks to suck. Like it's, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I missed it. The goal is to have 52 certifications by my next anniversary. So next September, I should hopefully have 52 additional certifications than what I did this past anniversary trip. So hopefully that will help my mindset of like, hey, it's not all or nothing, it's cumulative. Um, another guideline is that this is meant to explore, like learn new things, explore different things. There are some certifications that I do actually need to get. I'm in talks with some people about making some courses about some things. So I don't want to come out and say it because we're not under contract and we don't have any release dates, but I do need to get those certifications in order to make those courses and make them well. So that's a little, a little hint for you. But again, I want to explore new topics. I want to learn new things. I want to get back a love of learning that I feel like I've lost these past few months and like the past year or so that I've been in this funk. Um, yeah, and I want to document it. So I want to do a better job of documenting like, hey, this is what I did to get the certification. This is how I felt getting the certification. The things I'm learning, all those things. Uh, another guideline is that I'm going to keep positive on all of these fronts. Like I'm going to keep positive and look for all of the benefits, including any tertiary benefits that I might find. So like getting certifications, yes, is fantastic. Like it's great to learn new things, but also like <laughs> I've been playing this bean game, uh, Hank Green's app of it's like, oh, this little bean is going to knit socks for this long, as long as you're productive. And then you get to trade in those socks and decorate his room. Like that's a, a definitely a tertiary benefit of like, hey, I got the certification, this is great. But like also like this bean just got like a new wallpaper. Like that's so cool. That's a tertiary benefit. Like I want to keep this positive and not saying like, oh, this certification is not gonna help me at all. But like the bean also, I'm just gonna keep this positive really and not say anything hopefully negative. But again, this is just to motivate me, help me get out of this funk that I've been in. And really the main goal is to get out of this funk of feeling like I'm a little bit stuck in my career or things are moving slowly. Like I've done a lot in the past year, but like right now I feel like, I don't know. Hopefully you guys are understanding it. And maybe a lot of this is probably because of how like social media has been. And this is another benefit that's going to be maybe not necessarily a tertiary benefit. Maybe it's like one of the main benefits. Right now, social media and media, especially because I live in Utah um, and Utah County specifically, um, the thing, media is really heavy and media is really dark. Uh, and I don't want to get political, but it's just like really scary out there. Um, and I just want to get, kind of like be like, hey, don't, don't look at that. You have to go get certifications. <laughs> so hopefully that will help me um, not only like look and be more positive, but Getting out of this funk also means like, hey, stepping back from what's going on in the world and really just focusing on the things that I can control because I can only control the things that I can control, right? And so I think that will be one of the main benefits of helping me get out of this funk as well as probably also getting me out of this funk to spend less time online and more time studying and pursuing things that I would like to learn and growing as a person. So one thing I do want to say is that every certification I will make a course on. Not every certification is going to be honestly worth that for me and my time. Like especially certifications of things like HubSpot that I I don't use too often, although we're ramping up the Salesforce Emily business as like creating more content for LinkedIn and for other platforms and bringing on editors. So it's like, yeah, we'll probably end up using that anyways, but it's not going to be like, I'm going to make a course on how to get this certification. There will be some that I will make certification courses on, especially if I'm under contract to make those certification courses. But I will be hopefully adding in 
an update for every certification that I get on here on YouTube and on LinkedIn. Honestly, I may not be in my full setup. I might be in my car and not have no makeup on. I might be on a walk. I might be um, in my bathroom, like getting ready for the day or wherever. I'm not going to always just do a sit down video, especially because we have people coming to stay and my studio is also my guest room. So I will do my best to try and update here and on LinkedIn. Right now it is actually easier to update on LinkedIn, whereas in the past it's been easier to update on YouTube. But yeah, so I will try and keep updates and let you know how I felt about certain certifications and like kind of get you the lowdown of like, hey, what did I feel like I benefited? What did I learn? What were the tertiary benefits of this? So I did get a HubSpot sales, it was like their version of sales cloud certification. And uh, I got that one on September 14th. So I'm going to count that one as my first certification. So I need 51 additional certifications before my anniversary next year, which is technically September 16th, but I'm gonna let it fudge a little bit because it's 52 weeks, you know, it doesn't always match up. I don't feel like this is something that everyone can do. It's something that I'm doing to challenge myself because I have the means and I have the resources. Like also a lot is like, hey, who has the financial resources to get this many certifications? Um, I will be doing a lot of very low cost certifications or free certifications in addition to higher value paid certifications that I'll have to pay for resources as well. But I feel like also I'm very blessed to have this platform where I create free content for you guys um, and I do get a kickback from that and so I'll likely be using a lot of those funds to help pay for these ventures that I'll be doing. But I did think of a substitute if you want to also follow along, regardless of your means, I feel like a lot of people could do this. It's going to be something similar. It is going to be 12 certifications in 12 months. Instead of 52 and 52, it'll be 12 and 12, which I feel like, again, also very manageable. You can get certain certifications fairly quickly, or you could spend like two months working on one certification and then do like two in one month. And I feel like this is very doable. I feel like this is going to help to jumpstart careers or to, I don't know, to help get things moving, right? Or to help you feel like you are advancing and you are furthering your career. I remember when Jeremy first got into Salesforce, he got a lot of certifications in one year. To, to be honest, it was COVID and so we were home anyways. Um, I was pregnant with our first daughter and I couldn't really do anything. So he was just like, okay, I guess like I'll work and I'll study for certifications, um, which was really great. And it actually really propelled him forward. Personally, if I were to do that, I would put a little bit more guidelines on it just because of where I'm at with my time. Like I would say, oh, 12 Salesforce certifications in 12 months of like, oh, I could do this and 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 not necessarily do courses alongside those. Cause usually what I do is I study and then I do the certification and then I make the course and then I do it batched or not like batched, but like, you know what I mean? Just a whole thing of certification at once. But if you would like to join and go by the same guidelines or different guidelines, I would invite you to join me <laughs> along with that. Also, um, as we're wrapping this up, I would really love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, especially with the guidelines that I have. Um, are there any certifications that you would recommend that I get? Um, I've gotten some really fun ones over on the LinkedIn post that corresponds with this video. If you would like to go check those out, are there any metrics that I should track as far as like, oh, I have this many people reaching out to me or I don't know what a good metric is to track here other than like how I'm feeling every week, which is such like a, a squishy metric, right? It's a squishy thing to, to track. I will be documenting this across YouTube and across LinkedIn. Um, I've thought about TikTok. I do have a TikTok. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the TikTok platform. Actually, I have had it once on my phone to upload one video and then it was promptly deleted. But if you would like me to try and do something like a vertical TikTok of like, hey, this is what this is going on this week. I can try to do that. We can try to figure that one out. <laughs> it might not look pretty. It might not look like this professional studio like I have here, um, but we can try it. We can try it and see how it goes. If you would like to check out my courses, I do have courses on LinkedIn Learning, Udemy Business and salesforceupskill.com. I do really enjoy creating courses and getting certifications, but we're just trying to jumpstart this year. Okay. I'm also starting this like at the beginning of the school year or beginning-ish of the school year. So hopefully I can get the majority of the bulk of these certifications within the school year. Um, 
I don't know. I just feel like the school year is such a better time to get it in how my brain works and to start it rather than like in the new year just because, I don't know, it's filled with holidays that like start in the new year and everything, but I feel like the beginning of the school year is so much better because there aren't too many holidays, right, at the beginning of the school year, so you can really get good progress. Please leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts, questions, concerns. Yeah, you can check me out on those platforms for courses. I'm on LinkedIn at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one, which I'm filming right after this, and then hopefully next week. All right, bye. <laughs>